Hey guys, Haas here. So, I'm still out at a conference in St. Louis, of course. By the time most of you are watching this, I'll be back home. And, you know, I don't have a TV at home, but I flip on the television here as I'm waiting for my cab. Definitely not going to sleep tonight. I've got a plane that leaves early in the morning. Um, Huckabee Report comes on, and Huckabee is interviewing this New York senator, and they're talking about... Uh, the expansion of Al-Qaeda into Mali and North Africa and it's essentially a fluff piece um, really to make people think that um, you know to, to drum up fear or terror about uh, uh, fear mongering about Al-Qaeda in Northern Africa because and I say this because I'm going to get to this uh, who supplied the rebels in Libya with arms? Was it not uh, either the United States or the UN or both? Was it not one of our allies? It, I don't see... This is, this is really driving me insane. Benghazi... You know, the, the blood is still wet on the streets in Benghazi from our, our representative. These are weapons that we've given to them to start wars so that we can go and kill them. When does it end? Afghanistan, Iraq, we bomb Libya in a no-fly zone. We start poking Syria course we back down because nobody wants a real war an all-out war with Iran so now we have another war brewing in Mali and in Libya in these other places where the the uh, Al-Qaeda has migrated the Al-Qaeda that we supplied that we trained and now we have to go kill them when, when will the American people wake up and realize that we are going to send our finest young men and women off to now North Africa somewhere, undoubtedly, within the next few years? And if it's not there, it'll be somewhere else. I'm really, really tired of seeing the supposed conservatives warmongering it's time to bring our troops home it's time to end these wars it's none of our business what goes on in Mali I don't give a crap what happens over there we need to stop arming people stop funding people bring our troops home bring our money home because our interests are here in America our interests are not in Egypt our interests are not in Syria, or Afghanistan, or Iraq, or Libya, or Mali. I really encourage all of you to just, when you hear people talking about this sort of stuff, look past their bullcrap. Look past all the bullshit. Because the reality of the, the thing is, is that we are going to be in an endless war. Until we demand that we're not. Thanks for watching.